Hi, welcome to the channel and for today we'll be doing the integral of the square root of natural log of x dx. Now, we already have a clue about the integral of ln x dx. We know this can be evaluated using integration by uh, integration by parts. So, this gives us a clue on where to start from when evaluating this. We will start by trying out integration by parts. So, the idea of integration by parts is this, if I have a function like u uh, times another function dv dx, and I integrate this with respect to x, this is equal to uv minus the integral of v du dx uh, dx. Of course, I could have begun with this here, uh, or if I have u dv dx here, then this is v du dx. That's just kind of how it works. Now, there is a catch here. You have to choose wisely which function to use as u and which function to use as dv dx. So, you choose something that is easier to differentiate, and that's your u, and something that is easier to integrate is your dv dx. Okay, so, for this, I will let u to be the square root of ln x, because if I let dv dx to be ln x, that would be... Uh, just bringing up the same problem and I won't have, uh, I won't go anywhere. So, uh, this is better. Then this is the same as ln x to the power a half. So, if I take the derivative of u with respect to x, I drop this power here. So, then I reduce the power by one. So, keep this bracket. Oops, ln x. So, I reduce the power by one. That's negative a half times the derivative of whatever is in the brackets here. So the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So just put that down here. So this is 1, okay, 1 over 2x, the square root of ln x. So this is du dx. Remember, we will need du dx here. All right, so next I have to find the value of v from dv dx. Of course, dv dx is just a 1 here. So, dv dx equals 1, which implies that dv equals dx. And if I take integrals on both sides, you can see that v is just going to be x. Okay? I assume the constant of integration to be, you know, 0 for this case. So, there we have our value of v and our value of du dx. So, we have everything to put in this expression here to go ahead and integrate this. Okay, so just to create more space here. Now the integral, just use this, the integral of square root of natural log of x uh, dx. This is basically what you would say as u are u, and then, you know, the dv dx just a one here. Anyways, this is equal to, I think I'll just do it this here. This is equal to uv. So u, what's our value of u? That's ln x. Um, Alright. Here. Yeah. So u is square root, sorry, of ln x. Then v, remember, we're just substituting in this formula here. So v is x just evaluated that up here so this is x all right minus the integral of what we have here so v du dx let's see what's our value of v that's x and our value of du dx is this here that's 1 over 2 x the square root of ln x dx so we can clean this up a little, and that's going to be uh, x times ln x minus, so this cancels with this, just have a half here, times the integral of 1 over the square root of ln x dx. Okay, so we've got another problem here. Let's evaluate this independently, and then we'll just bring it back here. So, just got a fresh page here. The integral of 1 over the square root of ln x. Okay. So, if I let 
hypostasis with respect to x. So if I let um, another variable like t to be equal to uh, ln x here, in fact, let me just use that with a square root. Uh, then squaring both sides, I have t squared equals ln x. And I can take exponents on both sides. So exponent of t squared equals exponent of ln x. So this is exponent of t squared. This is going to be just an x because that's the antilog of ln. So there we have it. So the idea here is I want to substitute for dx and every x in this integral. So I have to find dx here. Let's take derivatives on both sides. So uh, the derivative of this is going to be 2t. Oops, 2 times t exponent t squared dt. Then this side we have dx. So we'll substitute for dx. We'll substitute this. Uh, okay, sorry about that. All right. So let's go ahead and put everything together now. So I have the integral of 1 over, instead of the root of ln x, I'm just going to have a t there. And instead of dx, I'll have 2t times the exponent okay, of t squared dt. That's what we have here. So you can see that this t cancels with this t. Then I have 2 times the integral of exponent t squared dt, which is actually a standard integral that um, we already know about. So this here, I'll just show you this. So this here is a standard integral. It's actually one of the interesting standard integrals that um, cannot be expressed in terms of elementary functions. So we will uh, express it as it is in standard form uh, using the imaginary error function. So I have this 2 here. And then this integral here is simply root pi divided by 2 times the imaginary error function of t in this case. Okay. Plus a constant. But I... You know, don't care about this constant so much here because this is part of another problem. So I'll just write one in, uh, constant for the whole integral at the end. Anyways, so this 2 can cancel with this. I have root pi times the imaginary error function of t uh, plus a constant, whatever. So, um, so what am I going to do here? Uh, this t here... I don't like it. I'll just substitute back for ln x. Uh, so, let's see what we have here. This is going to be the square root of pi times the imaginary error function. Instead of t, I'll have the square root of ln x. Okay. And then, plus a constant. So, I just bring that all back to the previous page here um, and write my final solution as green so x times the natural log of x minus one half so that's going to be okay one half all this we've evaluated this to be the square root of pi times the imaginary error function of the square root of ln x plus an arbitrary constant just to clean this up a little, that's going to be x times ln x minus root pi over 2 uh, times the imaginary error function of the square root of ln x plus a constant. And that's our final solution. So thanks for watching this video. If you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I produce weekly content on interesting questions in math and physics. I've got full courses in the channel that you may want to check out. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.